Hello and welcome back to the final part of my Let's Play series for Real Mist Masterpiece Edition. Where we left off uh, before, we have uh, just freed Atris from Kavir. We did the good ending, where we do not trap him in Kavir, or trap ourselves inadvertently. We actually li listen to his advice. We don't, um, we don't free Cirrus or Akinar. And now he has uh, given us his um, reward is uh, we are basically cleared hot to uh, <laughs> just to investigate the island as much as possible. That's really all that's left to do in the game. So, I said we had one more place to go, but naturally, me being the stranger, I wouldn't know that yet. So let's go back to Mist. We've got nothing else to do here. Atris is clearly busy writing Riven. That's what it, that's what that big book is. He is writing the descriptive age for Riven, trying to preserve it from uh, collapsing. But you will find that out next time in Riven. And it looks like we have a a book here that was not here prior before we entered. And as you can see. There are scorch marks on both sides where Cirrus and Akinar used to be. And uh, he said he took care of them, so we assume that he destroyed the books somehow. Maybe burned them. But anyone who has played Mist 4 Revelations knows what really happened. And. So basically, being the same character that we are in Mist 4 Revelations, we will not find out what happened to Cirrus and Akadar for approximately 20 years from now, from the events of Mist. So, we had already read the Book of Rhyme discussing the calamity that befell the Dunny race and how uh, Vivas and Garrus poisoned their own people. Uh, that's what this discuss, discuss, discusses. Let's try to talk words today. So, we remember this from the beginning when we first arrived on Mist. This uh, viewer with a code of 40 and a 2735 number. Okay, so, what could this mean? Well, we we never actually put this number into the viewer, so let's let's go take a look at that and just let's just remember two seven three five and this looks like it's circling one of the switches there's two switches uh front and back and it looks like it could be selecting either the front or the back here we're not sure by this image so we'll just have to try both of them so two seven three five and four zero for the uh, viewer combination so let us continue on it's very dark sorry guys but there is a day night cycle obviously so that's why we have our trusty flashlight okay and let's try four zero Okay. Okay. Let's try this again. There was a patch that came out today, actually, but the game still tends to crash every once in a while. Okay, so it looks like we have some kind of uh, snow-covered mountain region that's showing us here. Alright, doesn't seem to do anything. Let's check this back switch. Oh, what is this? Something opened back there. Gotta love classic mode. <laughs> Alright. 
hit a switch. That looks like the Selenetic Age walkway that leads to the, uh, the craft. So there might be something we just opened up back there. Let's go check it out. Right. So running max setting, I'm able to max out at 30 frames per second. That's not not terrible. Now oh, and look, and so we did. We did open a door. Well, let's let's see what's inside here. Okay, so a four-digit platform or a four-digit piece of machinery, I guess is the proper term. Seems like it leads up. I believe the library is right above me. So let's try that four digit code. Was it two seven three five or two three seven five? I think it was two three seven five. Uh let's try this. Huzzah! All right. So it has risen up into the the library. Let's go check out the library now. Was it shift? Oh, I think it was. Uh, I can't remember. You're supposed to be able to see old images. There we go. You hold shift. Yeah, you, you can see old images of what the game used to look like. That's pretty nifty. Okay, so let's check out. Oh, yep, yep, sure enough, there is the rhyme book. All right, looks like we're going to an area with a lot of electricity. And snow. My frame rate's gonna suffer real bad here. All right. Okay, looks like we have a building of some type here with a pipe leading out of it. And we have a switch. Let's just turn the switch now. Yeah, I'm already at 19 frames per second. <laughs> I don't get it. This building right here always likes to wreck my frame rate. All right, so it's fairly cold in here. Um, all right, we have a furnace and a book. All right, okay, so it appears we have some some fire. We are cooking with gas here. All right, seems like that's actually melting. I am hearing ice melt. So here is the mist book right away. So you know right now right if it's right away like that, they really this is kind of just a bonus area. There's really nothing there's really no puzzles here. Alright. go up. So in the rhyme book, uh, Atreus discussed how he built these three towers with his sons and how he discovered the ability to, um, oh geez, I can't look around, to show the image of ages that have already existed. Did not create a link to such age, but it created a a way of, of seeing it. And this little thing here, I thought this had something to do with maybe a puzzle in the game, but it has absolutely nothing to do with anything. It's just pretty. Yeah, so I mean, it just you can see the different colors and whatnot. Gotta wait for the graphic to disappear before I could leave.
All right, so we have a switch here. Oh, what is this? Appears to be a private study. And nothing that we can click on except for this book here. Before spending any more time with my experiments, I've decided that I must finish construction. I've brought both Cirrus and Akinar this time. The shaft is almost finished, as is the observation post. Both boys prefer it inside where it is warm, protected from the cold. Akinar sits in the observation post for hours, and Cirrus is consumed with the crystals and the glimpses of ages that we are able to see. Neither of them shows any real desire to leave. I cannot remember the last time my son spent so much time with me in an age. After much more experimenting with the shapes of the crystals, we were able to get a nearly perfect view of an age inside of the book. Cirrus wanted to link immediately, not understanding the link was only visual. Without the ink, the crystals do not bind unto a particular age. Because of this, the crystals have an interesting side effect. It is possible to change the crystals and watch the age change. While well, in reality, we are seeing a vast number of d distant, distinct, sorry, though similar ages displaying the current age defined by the crystals. It appears as though we are changing the original age. Next to the lights, my son seems much more interested in the lights of the night sky right now. Their only interest in the crystal seems to be whether or not we can view Channelwood or Stoneship. Two ages I have not seen in a long while. It is possible to view the ages, although the time it would take to find the correct combination would be prohibitive. I do not consider my task with the crystals complete, but I would rather keep Cirrus and Akinar excited and here, so we will move on to the lights. I think it is better to keep Riven from them, and so it is just as well that we move on to something else. I will view that place later. Okay, so the Rhyme Age was introduced into the first Real Mist uh, game, not Masterpiece Edition. Yes, uh, Cyan has remade Mist about three three additional times. So um, this part, obviously, Riven had already been out, came out in 97, Real Mist came out in 2000, I believe. So they already had the Riven Cannon made. And I believe right after Real Mist came out, then they made Mist 3. Well, actually, Cyan didn't make it. It was made by Presto. So um, this makes sense now to the reader because you would have already played Riven at this point, or not, you know, and then you can go back and play that game, which is amazing, by the way, if you haven't played Riven by now. The lights are curious. Although I originally thought the effect to be an organic one, I now believe it to be electromagnetic in origin. I think the effect could be triggered somehow. It's something that we'll have to try, and if Cirrus and Akadar have their way, it will be soon. I have never seen either of them so interested in my experiments. So I'm not going to read this entire thing. Uh, so basically, they build the towers. Okay. The they You might be able to hear the sounds of those animals. Those are actually the whales, and he describes those in this book as well. He talks about Catherine. Uh, she had to go to Riven. Catherine had to come after I told her of my intention to use the crystals to view Riven. She is not consumed with the setup of the geodes and the crystals and encourages me daily as I try to uncover the combination that will allow me to view a view of that age. Cyrus and Akinar did not come this time. I must return to Everdunes. I believe that after a few... Of I believe that a few of the crystals I left in Everdunes may help me here. Catherine has returned home from for now, but she will meet me on Mist Island in three days. I think I will be ready for them. And Everdunes is where the crystals come from that he uses to power his machine. Alright, so let's try going down now that we've actually turned the elevator. Sure enough, we can go down, and it shows us a different area. Okay, so here's the crystal viewer. Alright. Let's turn that up so you can at least hear the music. It is real, the work of your hands, the touch of my dreams. I felt my dream for you. I've left my dream for you, sorry. I'm only yours, Catherine. So here's the combination and the colors. So if you were to put those into this machine, these are the geodes. It would show you an image of Riven, and uh, 
it's really nothing spectacular. It, it literally is just an image of the lake area in Riven. I I really wish they had shown like a full motion video segment of Riven, not just an image. But if you have ever played Mist 4 Revelations, you will recognize this machine. In the very beginning of Mist 4 Revelations, you're helping uh, Atris align um, his, his machine properly so that he could show you, I believe he's trying to show you um, Relishan. So, and then the it, it obviously gets wrecked and the fuse wiring, the wiring's fused together and then he has to leave. Uh, and you, you will remember, if you remember correctly, he says that he's linking to Rhyme to get some equipment. Um, so when you do eventually contact Atris, he's on Rhyme in Mist 4. But that's it, guys. This is the end of the game. Uh, yeah, so. Again, you're really not missing much, guys, with the, uh, with me not showing you the, the, the Riven image. There's really nothing there. It's quite literally just a picture of a palm tree and then some water past it. I really wish they had done something more. But with that being said, we're done. This is That's all that rhyme is. And then you can go back to Mist if you so desire. And that's it. So so what are my thoughts on Mist? Um, let's, let's go over that for a few minutes. I think Mist is one of those revolutionary games uh, that'll that'll stand pretty much the test of time. It'll never really get old, and we've seen dozens of imitators, and no one could actually beat Cyan at their own game. They were the first ones to make this type of genre, uh, and uh, I believe I believe Mist was an amazing game uh, when it came out, and. I'm glad that I was able to to grow up playing it. The other Myst games can't quite compare to the very first one. It just has that magical quality that it was the very first one. It was something revolutionary for its time. So, that having been said, the puzzles in Myst, I think, are extremely easy. Uh, obviously, with the exception of the Selenetic Age, or, uh, yeah, the Selenetic Age and the... the the uh, maze is probably the hardest one. The uh, the Selenetic Age by itself is not that difficult. The only thing you really have to do is you know align those the dishes, and it, it really doesn't take very much brain matter to figure out how to get through that door. But the maze is probably the hardest one. It's going to take everybody the longest. Nobody likes the maze. Uh, the, I think the rest of the ages. The puzzles made sense. Um, they absolutely made sense in the context they were used. The lore of Mist, and you can see my lore video. Uh, it's about, I don't think, 12 to 15 minutes long. The lore of Mist is amazing, and I think the context of the puzzles fits perfectly with the lore. So, for example, going inside this... Uh, this little building here and using that machine to look at stars and then you're like oh that, that checks and then you go in the library and you research some stuff it all makes sense it's not like you're going through an area and then the developers go hey let's throw a puzzle at this guy and make it really hard but it makes almost no sense in the context of the lore or, or the the plot of the game so if you know the lore of mist you know why atris has all these puzzles these are basically traps to prevent people from finding his books, uh, he he made them against you know to protect them from his sons, which were plundering all of his ages. So I think the story, the context of the puzzles makes a lot of sense, and uh, I think Sign did an amazing job. I'm glad they remade the game. Hopefully this is the last time because uh, this game is like I said has been remade a ton, a ton of times. They remade the first Mist game. And they did Real Mist, and then they remade the Real Mist game, which is a remake of Mist. So, um, with that being said, that's pretty much my review. I, I, 
absolutely love this game. I've played it two or three times again, the Masterpiece Edition already, so I absolutely love it. I, I At this point, I think the puzzles are quite easy. This is probably the easiest missed game out of all of them, with Riven being the hardest, obviously. Um, so, you know, hopefully uh, they'll make a miss six one of these days, or that uh, Abduction is going to be pretty cool. I, I'm really hoping that Abduction is going to be an amazing adventure game. Uh, I, I believe it will be, because Rand Miller is hearkening back to uh, his old Mist days when he was when he's making Abduction. He's, he said he's going to make it very much like the Mist game, so... Let's just all hope, guys. Uh, thank you for watching my Let's Play videos, and I uh, hope you enjoyed them. Rate and comment below, and I will see you at a later time.